Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I've got quite an important video and that is on Storm Arwen which is currently going to be hitting the UK uh, during tomorrow and into the weekend on Saturday uh, maybe even into Sunday but mostly focused on Friday and Saturday with some very dangerous uh, weather possible especially on the order of very strong winds and maybe some snow for some parts as well and so I'll get into that video now. You can see this is a graphic I made uh, maybe about an hour ago now uh, on my Twitter and it is kind of showing the kind of regions I see I think will see some of the worst winds. Um, so you can see valid there from the 26th to the 27th of November and you can see that through this yellow region which encompasses mo most of the UK apart from some parts of Northern Ireland uh, as well as uh, Southern and Southeastern England uh, are going to be seeing gusts on the order of 50 to 60 miles an hour as this low moves through you can kind of imagine it and it's going to be move, kind of be moving in this direction most places will see kind of these sort of gusts enough to maybe bring down some small tree branches stuff like that uh, with some high gusts near coasts and then there's another area Area, which is this kind of amber area as you can see that stretches from northern and eastern Scotland uh, through kind of parts to eastern Scotland and then southeastern Scotland across the borders into parts of eastern England the Lake District and then down through parts of Wales and all the way into Cornwall as well and that's where we could be seeing quite a uh, strong gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour some areas uh, particularly kind of through this region could maybe see a touch higher than that particularly on the coasts and like I just said on the coast anywhere really we could be seeing 70 plus miles now I guess and that's definitely enough to maybe have some uh, minor structural damage some trees brought down maybe some isolated power outages um, but then our attention really turns to this zone and this zone also as well but especially this zone in red uh, you can see here across kind of parts of southeastern Scotland along the coast across the border and then into far parts of northeastern England and that could maybe extend down a bit further but kind of this whole eastern coastline does have to watch out for strong winds and then especially this bit because that's where we could be seeing quite dangerous conditions of 90 to 100 mile an hour gusts through friday evening and maybe into saturday early morning as well a bit further south um but this region especially we could be seeing widespread damage to trees uh, possibly some power outages very large waves and even some significant structural damage maybe like if you're in a camper van that sort of thing uh or in a mobile home maybe think about way, what you're going to do tomorrow because that could even kind of be at risk there uh, and also large waves so possibly coastal erosion that kind of thing quite a high impact storm and if i'm completely honest with you i wouldn't even be surprised if the Met Office upgrades to a red warning. They currently have an amber, I actually forgot to get it up on this screen here, uh, but uh, maybe I can see it later. If we go through the UKV model, model run, this is from the weatheroutlook.com. This is a high resolution Met Office model, and you can see the pink stuff is kind of snow, uh, the, the kind of colored stuff is rain. And you can see this is valid for 10 o'clock tomorrow on Friday and we have some snow showers across northern parts of Scotland and then some rain showers across parts of Ireland and southern England uh, and then as you continue through the day this is by one o'clock on Friday you can see we have the first hints of storm Arwen uh, just kind of to the northeast of Scotland there that color precipitation and this is kind of beginning to intensify as it moves like this and you can see we have kind of uh, rain turning to snow over the high ground of Scotland maybe even some sleet and um, could possibly accumulate over maybe about 200 meters or so as we get cold air wrapping into the back edge and then this is by four o'clock on Friday and you see we really start to get the evidence of storm R1 here a kind of a hook like that with low pressure kind of centered somewhere around there and as those pre precipitation makes its way onto land we could be seeing some snow especially across the scottish highlands uh, a high ground of scotland we could be seeing blizzard conditions as we get really strong northerly and northeasterly winds on top of this snow through the afternoon on friday maybe some snow showers elsewhere uh, maybe some a wintry mix across northern ireland and the republic of ireland also maybe wales though further south just normal rain showers and then this is by six o'clock on Friday and you can see we have kind of rain turning to snow across parts of Scotland and then again raining turning to snow across the higher ground of northern England and southern Scotland and by this time we'll be having very strong winds with again kind of maybe some showers through uh, western parts of the UK and Ireland and then by uh, one nine o'clock on Friday you can see wintry mix making its way through parts of the Midlands and Wales and then snow across parts of northern England and then we get colder air through the back edge uh, of the system like this and then turning to snow for most maybe settling above 200 meters or so across Scotland and then again this is by 11 o'clock on Friday 
as you can see here, snow across the high ground of northern England, southern Scotland, a, a wintry mix across Wales, maybe a bit of sleet and snow across uh, southern and southeastern England. And then again, this is 5 a.m. on Saturday, and this is kind of where that low kind of now stalls now. We kind of just have areas of wintry precipitation, maybe some snow mixed in, but kind of kind of north of this area, actually, let me just get rid of that, north of kind of this area, if you were within this back line, you could actually see some snow during Saturday morning, and then maybe across this area, which I'll get into a bit later, uh, but as you can see, kind of wintry mix drifting through, and then kind of turning into showers by Saturday afternoon. Now, if you look at the wind side of things, this is again from the same website, and this is Storm R1 here. You can see that low. We have those very deep millibars, or sorry, very deep, uh, that very deep low pressure system with those isobars really tightening. And down there, you can see to 974 millibars. That's very, very deep. And you can see we have these coloured lines here. Those are the ice bars, lines of equal pressure. And you can see where they become very, very strongly bunched across eastern Scotland, like so. That's where we get our strongest winds transferring southwards through the course of the afternoon and these are going to be really quite dangerous winds like I mentioned starting off to the north of Scotland as you can see this is by one o'clock on Friday you can see kind of northern and northeastern areas of Scotland will start seeing gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour possibly even 80 miles an hour along coasts and then increasingly getting much stronger and we get a really quick intensification of this secondary low and that comes with a much stronger wash of winds on the backside. you can see through the Scottish mountains 70 to 80 miles an hour along coastal areas 80 to miles an hour maybe even 90 in some spots 97 there in parts of northeastern Scotland uh, and then you can see kind of so again we start to see more strong winds I'll quickly break this down oh I don't know what happened there oh gosh looks like this pen is broken but yeah okay I'm just gonna turn this off uh, but you can see what we have here is maybe it will work yes yeah, so what we have here is you get those strengthening winds again look at that 100 107 miles an hour now pushing into parts of southeastern scotland widely 60 to 70 miles an hour through these areas and now spreading into the border regions and again look at this maybe parts of western scotland coastal northern ireland and into wales now you can see same thing here. This is going to be the peak of the winds, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock on Friday. And you see we have 190 to 100 mile an hour wind gusts pushing into this region. Now, that's where I had that kind of red area. And look at that, 100 miles an hour, even on land, that could be very, very disruptive. As you can see, kind of spreading through this belt of the Scottish border region. And then also very strong winds through the Irish Sea. Look at that, 80, 90 miles an hour across parts of North Wales as well. And then this is kind of spreading into Cornwall. This is by 2 a.m. on Saturday. You can see we have very strong winds, maybe even 90 miles an hour in isolated spots in the Irish Sea. But more widely, 60 to 70 miles an hour kind of through here. With those very strong winds still kind of lingering uh, through parts of uh, northeastern England and those strong winds moving south now oops, wrong color moving south now Wales and southwestern England 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts and then maybe 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 we could see those strong winds finally transfer uh, south a bit more with 60 to 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts for these kind of regions and then maybe 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts uh, across parts of southeastern England maybe an isolated one a bit higher uh, but that's the wind side of things. If we look at the waves, you can see this is on windy.com, and you can see this is kind of showing the height of the waves. This is from the icon model, and you can see unbelievably this is showing 10 litre waves, almost 11 litre waves off the coast of uh, northeastern England and Scotland here. And these kind of cliffy, kind of sandy cliffs, if you like, could be quite prone to erosion. So this area could be prone to very large waves, maybe some minor storm surge and erosion. So that could be quite concerning, really. If we take a look at on the kind of which areas we'll see winds, this is an ensemble chart, by the way, so you can kind of get an idea of what areas are going to see what. Um, and you can see for London, we've got kind of good certainty on this uh, up until maybe the 27th. And we could kind of see maybe winds in the 40 to 45 mile an hour region, 50 miles an hour at the most, uh, but kind of this 30 to 40 mile an hour wind, uh, region, maybe some 40 mile an hour gusts for London uh, during Saturday. <clears throat> For Aberdeen, you can see this is a lot higher. Very concerning now. Uh, high confidence on between uh, 80 to 90 mile an hour gusts. Possibly even 100 miles an hour. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, same for Newcastle. Good confidence on 80 to 90 mile an hour gusts. <clears throat> That's going to be going through quite a kind of uh, populated area. So this really could be quite a big concern. And then this is Manchester, as you can see here. 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. Still pretty strong. 
And then if we're going to look at the snow potential, which we will now uh, for London, you can see there are about maybe five ensemble members which do show snow during Saturday afternoon. Uh, and if I get into that threat now, I'll explain it a bit more. So this is the latest GFS run, as you can see here. I will show you. Uh, so here's Stor Storm Arwen. This is on this is on Friday morning here. You can see Storm Arwen making its way. This GFS model actually showing quite a lot of precipitation uh, falling as snow across eastern areas. I'm not too sure on this one, but you could see that we could see some wintry mix kind of through uh, Saturday, Saturday, early Saturday morning. And because it will be the night, we could maybe get some cold enough temperatures uh, with those uppers as well being quite favourable. And we could see some snow across eastern parts uh, and southern parts of England. And now there's especially kind of focus shifting into this region where a few models have been a bit more favourable for the development. If I just quickly run through each of the main models. We take a look at the, the ECMWF. You can see this shows kind of showers coming off the North Sea and then this area of more prolonged snow moving in for a bit though quickly weakening. And I think, so if I just clear this, the best confidence right now is kind of this zone, uh, through this zone, seeing an area of precipitation. The northern half is uncertain whether that falls of rain or snow, though it's kind of becoming increasingly likely through this half we could see sleet or even snow, though I must stress it's unlikely to settle. And then going through... Uh, icon model, this is a more high resolution model, you can see it's kind of similar thing, an area uh, mixing into snow maybe through this region, uh, but across the high ground you can see highlighted well, that's where we could see some accumulations, especially across the high ground of Scotland and Northern England. We go through this model as well, you can see the same kind of thing, oh um, sorry, quite tired, you can see that uh, we have precipitation tracking through here, so high ground of Scotland and then tracking through the south, maybe mixing in. And then this is the most high resolution model. Fortunately, we can't view Scotland on this one. But you can actually see that we get uh, this kind of area of precipitation uh, kind of moving through like this. And actually, let me get rid of this. Moving through like this. And you notice it kind of turns to pink through this zone here, showing snow. And across the high ground, you can clearly see the Chilterns there. We could maybe see some minor, minor, minor accumulations, but nothing much. And you see kind of rainy snow mix. But you know what? It's November. We've got three months of winter, uh, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, that looks like that will be the video for now. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye.